Well, there is a new, interesting, and somewhat confusing feature in Google AI mode. And the name of this feature is Canvas. And if that rings a bell, that is because this is not exactly new. We already have the Canvas feature in Google's Gemini AI, where you can use it to create a document. You can also use it to create a mini game or perhaps a website. And overall, I do really like this flexibility and creativity of the Canvas feature in Gemini. But the Canvas feature in Google AI mode is a bit different and it is very limited. So in this video, I'm going to show you on how you can actually access the Canvas feature in Google AI mode alongside with some limitations that you need to be aware of. So first, this feature is only available if you are in the USA. If you're not from the country, then I guess you can use a VPN service. And after that, you can navigate to this page. And basically, you want to make sure that you have the AI mode enabled on your Google account. And don't worry, I'm going to provide the link of this page in the description down below so you can double check it. Now, after that, you can open Google AI mode. And the simplest way to navigate to the page is by typing google.com slash AI and it will land you to the Google AI mode. Now, right now, again, the Canvas feature in AI mode is very limited. It is not behaving in the same way like in Gemini, where you can select the setting. Right now, it will only trigger in some topics, especially about traveling or booking a ticket, booking a hotel room or perhaps restaurant table, etc. So it's very limited and very narrow, at least at the moment. So this is the prompt that I'm going to use. Uh, give me a seven day plan of traveling to Tokyo. Right now I live in Thailand and let's send a message. So if you're lucky, you will see the option to open the answer in the canvas mode or the canvas feature. As you can see, I got this option. I can click it and it will open or I will create the answer but now in, it is going to be in the canvas mode or the canvas window. It is very similar like the one in Gemini. It will appear on the right side of the screen. And by the way, I also forgot to mention that uh, this feature, at, at least right now when I'm recording this video, is only available in the desktop version. So I don't think you can see this in the mobile app version, but I'm hoping it will arrive in that platform very, very soon. Now, I'm still waiting for it to, to think and then researching for the answer. And... I guess it's kind of confusing at the same time because why not just displaying the answer in the typical in the normal way like it can just show the answer in the normal window why there is the need to open the canvas feature well it is actually very useful especially if you have a very long conversation with ai you can go back and forth you can revise the prompting revise the situation and that changes will be reflected the information will be updated in the canvas mode okay it is taking a bit longer than i want for some reason but i guess i'm going to refresh the page and hopefully i can get something here okay finally we can see something here this is actually a new thread because on the previous thread there was an error message i don't understand why but uh, that's the nature of a feature that is still in beta now it's still creating the answer and it is actually very thorough it's very detailed and there are some interactive features like in some areas or in some situations you can actually book a hotel directly inside of the canvas window or the canvas feature so i would say that's that could eliminate the need of visiting some websites especially for doing some transaction so i guess that could be useful now again the goal or the benefit here is that you can update the information right here for example let's say i have a different plan i initially i said that i have seven day plan but now i'm going to tell gemini that i only have four days sorry i have a new update please change the plan to four days and please make the response in the canvas more concise All right, let me just double check everything and let's send a message. And by the way, if you are interested about the tool that I use to transcribe my own voice into text, I was actually using a, a tool called Handy Computer. It is handy.computer and it is free, by the way. I actually have talked about that on my channel. It's a great alternative to 
tools like whisper flow for example and it is very accurate and also it is running locally on your computer so no, no data is being sent over the internet there you go so we got a new update and now uh, it is actually changing it, it used to say seven days but now it is only four days which is reflecting to the new update that i provided to ai so that's one use case where the canvas feature is beneficial so you don't have to you know navigate to the ai response you can just look at the summary here and that will contain everything that you just discussed so far with ai so yeah i guess that's basically how you can access and use the canvas feature in google ai mode and hopefully in the future in the near future we can see this feature uh, the canvas feature without using vpn without all the limitations and hopefully it will be more consistent but anyway that's basically it thanks for watching and i'll see you on my next video i wish you a great day ahead